What a difference a week makes. Last weekend it was hopeless. There was Jana Pittman, heartbroken, in tears, robbed of her chance of Olympic gold by a crippling knee injury. Fast forward a few days and there she was again, smiling, confident, back on the track, back on track, ready to take on the world in the 400 metres hurdles in Athens. That's the dream, but in reality, if Jana does triumph, it will be one of the greatest sporting comebacks ever. And as Mike Munro reports from Italy, at her first training run overnight, it really was a case of run, Jana, run. The tear is actually on this side, but they went in... This is the most the famous knee in Australian sport. But at the start of the Olympic Games, Jana Pittman wishes it didn't belong to her. I just can't believe how bl like black and blue it is. It looks angry, doesn't it? Yeah. Is that, what, is that blood under the skin? Yeah, it? it's, all, it's just basically blood and bruising. It's because we're pushing it too, like we're, pushing, we're putting the workload into it. A friend of ours um, had his done as well two and a half weeks ago and he started walking today. And I'm five days and I'm, I'm trying to run. <laughs> it's quite funny if you think of it like that. Straight lines, visualise. It's just as well Jan is a hurdler because no athlete has ever attempted to clear the massive barriers now lying ahead of her. Her Olympic dream will rise or fall on whether she can rehabilitate her injured right knee before she's due to race in six days' time. You've got two things, as how the physio say it. You've got reality and you've got a miracle. We're hoping to get close to a miracle because the reality of it is it's an injury that takes six weeks to recover. Most people aren't running after... Most people can't even walk or run after a week. And I'm trying to run 400 hurdles at the Olympic Games. It's like... <laughs> and win it, and win it. <laughs> and win it. Away, fair start by Yana. It was September last year when Yana became the latest in a long and proud line of Australian golden Here comes Yana Pippen on the inside. At 20, the youngest ever 400 metre hurdles world champion. What a performance! What a victory! With the confidence such an emphatic victory brings, she told Charles Woolley that Olympic gold was her destiny. She's a world champion. I'm very certain. I mean, I, I want... I want to win that gold more than anything, anything in the world. More than anything? More than anything in the world. That is a huge thing to say, isn't it? You only live once, got to have a shot. But, you know, every girl in that final will be wanting the same thing. Every girl. There's going to be eight girls in that final, and every one of them is going to be standing on their blocks going, I can win this race. It's just who wants it the most. And hopefully that'll be me. No, I know that will be me. Are you that, still that sure? I've got to get there first, but once I'm there... One step at a time, huh? One step at a time. If Yana does make it back onto the track in Athens, she'll be setting a new record for recovery. Okay, Yana, I want you to go alternate legs now. Hop, 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 oh, hop, hop. Little hops, yeah, straight leg. This weekend, we joined her here on the Italian-Swiss border for her last make-or-break days. Go! And so far, the signs are good. Nothing hurts at all, which is good. The water like, takes a lot of the impact out and a lot of the weight of your body, so and it sort of creates a bit of a resistance as well, though, so it's good. You can do so much work in the pool, rehab-wise and training-wise. I couldn't help but notice your fingernails. Who did those for you? I did them actually. I've been doing them every year. I want to have Australian flags on all my fingers when I race. So every year I've done it. You're a hopeless patriot, aren't you? <laughs> I just love it. I have Aussie flags and everything. Love the green and gold. <laughs> Jana is someone who uh, really responds well when her back is against the wall and her back has never been more against the wall than what it is right now. Alrighty, let's, give it, let's do it. And Jana's coach, Phil King, knows all about challenge and success. He coached his wife, Debbie Flintoff King to win the 400 metre hurdles at the 1988 Seoul Olympics. And he thinks Jana can do the same. I take the attitude she has a 100% chance of making the final and that's really a coach's responsibility and Jana and I share that sort of dream that, you know, this is just another small hiccup that we have to try and overcome and address. And of winning the final? If she's in the final, she's a red hot chance to win it. What a comeback that will be. Houdini had it easy, Mike, if, uh, we, if we pull this off. Uh, she's, she's, uh, it'll just be an incredible feat, but we do have a long way to go. It was nine days ago when things went drastically wrong. Warming up for her final race before the Olympics 
Jana heard a loud pop in her right knee. The exercise I was doing, you don't understand, it's something I do every day, every day of the week. It's just a normal exercise and I was warming up like it was just my night. I was so prepared for it. I'd had the best day, I'd meditated, I'd painted my nails ready because it was because Debbie Flintoff King was in the crowd and I was hoping to break her record in the race and it was just going awesome. And then just doing this drill, it was the last drill before I went to the call room basically and it was just this, heard this big noise and that was it. Yana was simply going over the hurdle with her left leg, her right leg's coming over here like this and that position there with no loading at all on this leg, her knee went and it was like hearing a firecracker go. And we all thought that she hit the hurdle but it was just a knee popping and she tore the lateral meniscus. And it's something that she has done every single warm up, every single day she's trained with me. Part and parcel of a normal process, just like any kid cleaning their teeth. Can you just explain to us what a lateral meniscus is? Basically, it's a cushioning in your knee for your, two, for your femur, um, your thigh bone and your, and your tibia, and it stops it rotating and stops all the, the movement, is what I've been told. And, and when it's unstable, it means basically you've got no, you know, you could just collapse when you're walking and things like that. Shock absorber. Exactly, shock absorber. As Yana can Your only do, she says, first put on a brave face. Basically, I was just doing some hurdle drills and my knee, I landed funny off the, one of the hurdles and, and my knee just sort of made a funny noise and I don't think there's anything going to be, you know, too worried about it. But Phil King consulted Dr Verdal, one of the world's leading sports doctors. He gave her virtually no chance to compete in Athens. I have never seen that in uh, my experience that, uh, that you can... Uh, come back in, in 15 days with such a lesion now. I said, Yana, put your arms around my neck and give me a tight, tight uh, cuddle, but you know, your, your trip is over, mate. You said it's over? It's over, yes. And we can see now you still get emotional about it. Very much so, yes. Initially, I didn't even cry. I was Initially, I was almost, not screaming, but I was like, <laughs> I just couldn't breathe and yeah, I felt yeah, sick, yeah. fill through up. Like, it was just like, it's like something has been ripped up high out of you and you have no control over it. So how low did you go? I reckon I went the lowest I've ever been in my life, ever. At one stage there I didn't have any idea what my purpose was because I just thought this was my purpose to show Australia that little dreams are possible and I'm always you know singing the bumblebee song that you know the, the impossible is possible and that if you work hard enough you can achieve anything and and all of a sudden everything was taken away. Just not fair right? It, that's what that's what we didn't understand. In sheer desperation, they sought a second opinion from London specialist Dr Haddad. In his view, all wasn't lost. Arthroscopic surgery trimmed three millimetres of flapping cartilage. Despair turned to joy. It worked! <laughs> so Yana's chances to compete soared from 1% to 60%. I'm going, Phil! <laughs> Sixty percent or so. We're going to try very hard. We'll know much more how she responds in terms of swelling and inflammation. But certainly, I'm much more optimistic than I was this morning. Yana left the hospital in triumph, making the point she was far from finished. With throwing those crutches away, a psychological message to your competitors that hey, Yana Pittman is back. I think it was, to be honest. Yeah, it was. It was. A, it was for me as well. Did you plan it? I did plan. I was as I was walking. I'm holding. I had to walk with him. I'm like, no, I don't need these. I'm not holding on to you any longer. Go away. I'm rid of you. <laughs> it's not part of me. <laughs> so you virtually have to start from scratch, don't you? As far as moving that right leg again, you sort of have to sort of start walking again, almost. Don't Spot you? on. You almost have to re because they've removed part of my. They removed 15% of my meniscus. I almost everything's. It's like putting an orthotic in your shoe. It feels funny for the first few times. It's like a new knee for me. So it's an incredible ask. I know, I know. I'm prepared for it. <laughs>
how, how's my knee going to cope with that is the sort of thing that I have to, to start worrying about. And Why not not risk your knee and wait for Beijing? There is a few reasons behind it. The first, the first one being that we've worked so hard for four years and as long as it's not going to do any damage, I don't see there any reason why we should back out of this challenge. The second reason, with everything we've been thrown at, imagine if I can pull this off. Like, it'll just be something that will change my life. There's still Beijing. Are you concerned that if she keeps running, she could do some long-term damage? Yeah, very much so. There's, you know, she's been, Yana's been explained the risks, and the risks are possible that she could be running around the track in Athens and she could collapse halfway, halfway around the track. You've had a tremendous amount of support from Australia, haven't you? Yeah, certainly have. They've been awesome. Just everybody behind me. I think the positive vibes have definitely helped. I believe in that. So. 4,000? Uh, hero uh, grants, hero is that right? Lots of them. Like, the computer's crashed, so I don't really know how many there is altogether. <laughs> but there's one hero gram that means more than any other to Yana Pittman. Yana Pittman with the family. Her mum, Jackie, has been with her from the Little Leagues to World Championships. Hello, darling. I'm just sorry I can't be there for you. All I want to do is hug you and hold you and, you know, take your pain away. I know that you're really hurting right now, but hang in there, kiddo. We're really behind you. And, we're praying for you really hard because you know God can make miracles and we love you and with everyone behind you, you will be on that track in Athens and we will see you there. Love, kisses, hugs and hugs from Dad and me. Bye, love you. Yeah. Oh, it's, a, it's a miracle. I'm really very pleased. <laughs> Overnight, just six days after her knee operation and six days before she's due to compete, Yana ran for the first time. No one thought she'd ever get this far. The prospects of our golden girl may have dimmed, but if the Olympic Games are all about triumph of the human spirit, Yana is shining brighter than ever. I will go to the final. If I'm not in the final, I will watch my friends run because they are my friends. Quite a few of them. I've already picked who, if it's not me, who it's going to be, <laughs> who I want really? it to be, who I want it to be. Well, I won't even ask you who you think it will be because we all think it's going to be you anyway. I hope so. I do hope so, obviously. Uh, but it is a long shot. It is a real long shot. But hey, I had 1% chance, now it's up to 60. Yeah. Who's going to tell me the night before the Olympics final if I'm not in the final in, in lanes one or eight? I don't care that I'm not going to have a chance. Only a very brave person. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so. Hello, I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our extra minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au and the Nine Now app.